we've developed a new drug that blocks the formation of plaques, these things called senile plaques that accumulate in the brain in Alzheimer's disease and prevents their formation. This has gone through a number of stages, so initially um, we were just testing this in the test tube and then we had to modify it to get it across the blood-brain barrier into the brain and then we had to test it to see if it blocked the formation of plaques in the brain and so now we've got to the stage where we've got something that gets across the blood-brain barrier into the brain and stops the formation of plaques in the brain. Um, the results are very encouraging so we can block about a third of the plaque formation we can also inhibit what is called oxidative damage, which is a consequence of the formation of plaques. Um, we can inhibit inflammation in the brain. And we can also protect a population of stem cells in the brain that give rise to new young nerve cells. So it all looks very encouraging. We would anticipate giving the drug a, a what's called a mild cognitive impairment stage so this is when they've only got mild memory problems that aren't sufficient yet to be called Alzheimer's disease and we would hope to be able to stop the disease at that stage or at least slow down the course of the disease from then onwards.